We're going to be talking today about how to transfer a patient from the bed to a structure. You have a couple of options. You can use a backboard to do it or you can use a hover mat. And you need to determine which one is appropriate based on patient size and patient's ability to help you. So first off, we're going to show you how to use the backboard. First thing you want to do is just make sure that the bed is at the appropriate height so that you can use proper body mechanics. I'm going to bring the bed up a little bit so we're not bending over to do this. And you want to flatten the bed. You want to make sure that you're telling your patient what you're about to do, A, so that they are more comfortable, they know what's about to happen, and B, so that if they are able to help you, they can. So first thing we're going to do is get the backboard. So we're going to demonstrate how to place the backboard under the patient. We're going to have the patient bend up her leg, roll her, just slide her arm across her body. We'll use the sheet to assist her into the rolled, rolled position. While Jennifer holds her on her side, I'm going to take the backboard and position it underneath the patient as far as I can get it comfortably. And then we will roll her back onto her back. Then we're gonna have her roll towards me, bend her knee up, bring her arm across her body, using the sheet to roll her and roll her back. And again, using the sheet to just position her fully onto the board. And make sure that the head also comes over with you so that she's completely parallel, completely straight on the board. One thing you may have wanted to do depending on the patient's size is it may have been a good idea to bring the, the bed rail up during that transition if you felt like the patient was getting too close to the edge of the bed. So what I'm gonna do now is put both of the rails down, being mindful of where the patient is on the edge of the bed. And then we're going to bring the stretcher over so that it is right next to the bed. Again, you have to make sure that the bed and the stretcher are at the same height. I'm gonna lock, lock the stretcher, the bed is locked, and we can bring the bed up a little bit if need be. And I might bring the stretcher down just slightly. Okay. Now, you wanna make sure everything is locked and not moving. Again, you want to tell your patient what you're about to do. So, ma'am, we're about to slide you over towards me on the board. You really should have two staff members on the side you're pulling the patient towards and one staff member on the other side. There are handles on the board. Just be very careful that you do not get your fingers caught. So, uh, ma'am, we're about to slide you over towards the stretcher. One, two, three. You go halfway. Then the two staff members on the side you're pulling the patient towards are going to pull the patient all the way onto the stretcher while the staff member on the opposite side of the bed removes the sliding board. On three, one, two, three. And that's it.